boys and girls. Good morning, parents. Good morning, teachers and staff. Today is Monday, September the 14th, and today we have a very special feast day. Today we are celebrating the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. And so you can see behind me, we do have a cross, and today's liturgical color is red. And so it signifies um, Jesus dying on the cross, and so we have a crucifix as well. And so today we honor the cross. It is also then a sign of triumph and of love because through the cross, we remember that our entire being belongs to God, our hands, our minds, our souls, and our hearts. And in today's gospel, we hear that only seeds that are planted in good soil can bear much fruit. So let us quiet ourselves and prepare ourselves to be fed with God's word as today we listen to a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Such great crowds gathered around him that Jesus got into a boat and he sat there while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil. And they sprang up quickly, and since they had no depth of soil, but when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. So let anyone with ears listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's reflection from the Gospel, we invite you to think about what is it that the seeds represent in today's parable? And what do you think that the soil means? So let's talk about that a little bit. So when Jesus tells his disciples the parables about the seeds, he's talking about us, his people. We are all like seeds. Sometimes we can be good listeners and we can help others grow. And so that is considered to be a seed that bears much fruit. So when you help others to know and to love Jesus, you are being a good seed. You are spreading good in good soil. And when we don't listen and when we don't do what mom or dad are asking us to do, or we don't listen to the lessons that our teachers are giving us, then we can be considered like a bad seed because there is going to be no fruit that comes from that because we are not being obedient. So then in today's gospel, Jesus is comparing the things that we do like that of a seed. When you plant a seed and you plant it in good soil and you take care of it and you water it and you look after it, then it becomes a beautiful plant. It can be a beautiful flower, it can become a tree, depending on what kind of a seed it is. So today, then let us ask God to help us so that within us, in our spirit, and in the way that we are, we can be good seeds. And we can help others by growing and by loving and showing others that we love and that we care for them. And so, um, as we also then end today's uh, reading reflection and we think about the feast of the holy cross of the exaltation i'm going to invite you to when you are done with a prayer um, with your teachers to find with your parents where you may have a cross or a crucifix and to do a simple veneration and so today we th take the cross and we gently look at the crucifix and we thank god for the gift of our lord jesus christ we thank Jesus for the gift of the sacrifice of being crucified on the cross. And we remember that that was not the end of Jesus. Jesus so lovingly took up the cross. He let himself be crucified, but then he rose on the third day and he sits at the right hand of God, the father, and he sees all that we do. And so today as a way of showing God our gratitude and our love for the great love that he has for us, and giving us the gift of the cross, we can simply take the cross and gently gaze upon it, say a prayer of thanksgiving, and gently kiss the cross. 
and we say thank you lord thank you for the gift of loving me and by giving me the gift of the cross so when you have a moment please i invite you to do that with your parents um, and then parents we're also going to ask you that you please take a snapshot picture of your children um, doing that venerating the cross either as a family or individually and then if you could please send that in today we would greatly appreciate it so again thank you boys and girls uh, let us continue to be fed with god's word let us continue to be good seeds and doing everything that we can in god's love have a wonderful and blessed day now let us continue with our mission statement and prayer and together we say san martin de porres school strives to develop and inspire strong Christian values and academic excellence, thus empowering our children to become tomorrow's leaders and emerge as spirit-filled individuals concerned with the advancement of God's kingdom on earth. Prayer. Jesus, today I will live out this mission statement by being kind with my words and acting with love in all that I do. Amen. Now let us stand as we begin our pledges. We begin with a pledge to the U.S. flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the pledge of allegiance to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. We end our morning pledges with our pledge to the cross, and so I invite you to um, look at the crucifix if you're near your home altar, or if you have a crucifix by your work area. And so we have our praying hands as we make our pledge to the cross. I pledge allegiance to the cross of Christ and for the faith for which it stands, one church, holy, Catholic, and apostolic, with grace and salvation for all. We end our morning pledges with prayers. Um, we continue to ask St. Michael for his protection and intercession, and so together we pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who wandered throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And as we end our morning prayer, let us ask our Blessed Mother Mary to help us to be more like Jesus today in all that we do. And so together we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then we have two more uh, activities that we want to focus on before we let you go off to do your work with your teacher. The first is we want to review the character education or the virtue of the month. And so in September, we're going to be working on the virtue of friendship. So we invite you to think about how you can be a good friend to others and how others are good friends to you. And so the entire month, we're going to be asking God to help us with this virtue and to help us to be good friends. Then we are going to end with birthdays. And so... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Um, have fun learning and working um, with your teachers on your Google Meet sessions. Thank you and we'll see you later. Bye.